a very good morning class 10th you are welcome to the next class of the chapter carbon and its compounds of class 10th this is one of the important chapters as it goes to class 11th and 12th as it is and it is the base of organic chemistry the topic that we are doing today is homologous series now series means it is a group of compounds now this group of carbon compounds are the ones which have a same general formula so all the compounds which are derived from the same general formula come under this category of homologous series i am talking about hydrocarbons only hydrocarbons means compounds of hydrogen and carbon which means i am talking about alkanes alkenes alkynes and their homologous series let's talk about alkanes now what is the general formula for alkanes it is cn h2n plus 2 now you start deriving the compounds from this particular formula let us take n to be 1 so you have ch4 let us take n to be 2 you have c2 and h how much 4 and 2 6 let us take n to be 3 you have c3 and h how much 8 let us take n to be 4 you have c4 and h 10 so this is a group of homologous series of alkanes because all these compounds are derived from the same general formula is that okay i would like you to have a very close look between these two compounds any two successive compounds have a look as i go from here to here what is changing from here to here you are adding a carbon because there's one carbon increase what else is increasing hydrogens how many hydrogens are increasing two that means you are adding two hydrogens also so whenever you move from one homolog to another homolog you will find as i go from this to this check again what is increased one carbon and two hydrogens so as you proceed you go on adding a ch2 unit and you end up into the next homolog fine moving to the next example let's talk about alkenes the general formula of alkenes is cn h2n fine now let's derive the homologous series the only difference is if i say n is equal to 1 then it becomes c1 and h becomes 2 now this is no compound the reason is alkenes have to have a c double bond c which means it is only possible when you have at least two carbons so n is equal to 1 will not be practically applicable to alkenes you have to start the first member is n is equal to 2 that is c2h4 next you have n is equal to 3 that is c3h6 and the third can be n is equal to 4 that is c4h8 i can write one more n is equal to 5 c5h10 now all these are alkenes and they are called a homologous series of alkenes all those compounds belong to that homologous series again let's check as i move from the first member to second member what is the change there's one carbon increased and there are again two hydrogen increase which means whenever you move from one homolog to another homolog there is a change in one carbon and two hydrogens fine moving to the third example is that of alkynes the general formula of alkynes is cn h2n minus 2 Let's now start with it. Let us take n is equal to one. So c is one, and h is equal to zero. Now this is again no such compound exists because for alkynes you have to have a c triple bond c, and which is only possible which you have at least two carbons to it. So the first member of alkyne series would have to be n is equal to two. That means c two, and h how many? Two minus two. That is n is equal to 3 if you take it is c3 h is equal to 6 minus 2 that is 4 n is equal to 4 that is c4 h is equal to 8 minus 2 6 n is equal to c5 that is you have c5 hydrogen is equal to 8 now all these are under the category of homologous series of alkynes because they are derived from the same general formula and as already told you what is the difference between the successive homolog they differ by a unit of 
CH2. They differ by a unit of CH2, one carbon, two hydrogens. They differ by a unit of CH2. Is that clear? We will take one more example. Moving on to the next example, which is that of cycloalkanes. Now, for cycloalkanes, the general formula is CnH2n, which is similar to alkenes, but the difference is cycloalkanes do not have a double bond and they have a cyclic structure. Fine. And when we talk about a cyclic structure, which means your minimum carbons should be 3. Uske bina to cyclic compound hi banega. So, the minimum has to be 3 carbons. So, when we talk about the homologous series of cycloalkanes, you have to begin with N is equal to 3. That is C3, H6. When N is 4, it is C4, H8. When N is 5, it is C5, H10. When N is 6, it is C6, H12 and so on. And the actual structures you can also see. What is the difference again as you go from one to another? A C and two hydrogens. What is the difference? A C and two hydrogens. What is the difference? A C and two hydrogens. Of course, you should also understand if I want to find the molecular mass of this and I want to find the molecular mass of this, what will be the difference in the molecular mass? The molecular mass will differ by a CH2. So, for CH2, you very well know it is equal to 12 plus 2 that is equal to 14 U. So, the homologues will differ by a mass of 14 U as you move from the first to second, second to third and third to fourth. So, always whenever you talk about homologous series, the homologous series groups differ from each other by CH2 and they differ in mass by 14 U. Let us talk about the first. The first is a C3H6 that is cyclopropane. This is cyclobutane, this is cyclopentane and this is cyclohexane. So, when you are writing cyclopentane, that is the structure. There are two hydrogens per carbon. When you are writing cyclobutane, it is four carbons like this. When you are talking about cyclopentane, that is the structure. Please make two hydrogens per carbon because carbon has to have four bonds and so on you can make the cyclohexane yourself. So, the drill was whenever you are talking about a homologous series, then the members are derived from the same general formula. They differ from each other by a unit of CH2. Also, they differ from each other by a mass of 14. U is the key understanding concept of homologous series. You are watching the channel by Seema Makhijani and I am trying to make chemistry easier for you. Let us come up to the main points of homologous series now. Let us begin. When we talk about homologous series, the first point is they are derived from the same general formula is already understood. The second point is the members differ by a CH2 unit subsequently. That is as you go from one member to another, you would find there is a difference of a CH2 unit which was also explained. Now, if they differ by a CH2, what is the mass difference that they would have? The mass difference is going to be 1 carbon, so 12 U, 2 hydrogens to 2 U, so it is bound to be 14 U is the point given here. The third point is members differ in mass by a 14 U of mass as you go from one member to another. Coming to the fourth property, they have similar chemical properties. The reason why they have similar chemical properties is because their bonds are similar. What do I mean by this? When I talk about alkanes, they have only carbon-carbon single. When I talk about alkene, there is a carbon-carbon double bond in all of them. When I talk about alkynes, there is a carbon triple bond to carbon in all of them. So, all the homologues of carbon of alkenes would have C single bond C, similar properties. Alkene homologues will have a C double bond C, so similar properties. Because their bonds are similar, so their chemical properties are bound to be similar, their reactivity is bound to be similar. Coming to the last and the most important point is with respect to their physical properties. Now, this point refers to the physical properties where we are talking about the melting point and the boiling point. It is found that there is a regular increase in the melting and the boiling points observed 
as you increase the molecular mass as you go along the homologous series because the melting point and the boiling point depend on molecular mass. So from this you should understand that when we are talking about melting point and boiling point then as compared to methane, ethane would have a higher boiling point, propane would have further higher boiling point, butane would have further higher boiling point. Similarly, when I am talking about alkynes, you again would have ethane would have the lowest melting point or boiling point, then you would have propyne, then you would have butyne and so on. So as the carbon number increases, as the molecular mass increases, the melting and the boiling points also increase. This is the summary for the homologous series. I hope you are getting the grasp of the topic. There are many videos on the chapter of carbon and its compounds. Please go through them to get the grasp. Fine. I hope you are understanding chemistry better. Please, if you are liking the videos, share them in your class groups where there are other class 10 students. Bless you loads. Do well in life. And I end the class here. Bye. Bye for now. Keep watching my channel by Seema Makhijani. Bless you loads. Thanks a ton.